What's up guys, XM360 here, and in today's video I have another laser pointer review for you guys. Some of you may remember a couple months back I did a review on that blue 1 watt Chinese laser pointer. This one's going to be the same laser, the same host, but it's going to be a green version of it. So they advertise this as a 1 watt burning laser as well. I am a bit skeptical on that though because 1 watt green lasers usually go for a lot more than this one costs. This one only cost me about $37. So I'm guessing it's probably not going to be 1 watt, but I'm hoping it will be stronger than your average Chinese green laser. So I purchased this one on eBay, and I got it from a U.S. seller, so the shipping time was only about a week or maybe a little bit less than that. But it is a Chinese laser, it's just that the sellers in the U.S. bought them from China and are keeping them somewhere like California so that they can ship them to you quicker. So opening this up, the first thing that I'm going to see in here is the battery. This comes with two batteries and a charger along with the laser and the star cap. It takes an 18650 battery, and here's the little cheap charger that you get with this too. It charges two batteries at once, and it has the little flip out piece on the back that goes into the wall. Those batteries that I just showed you, those are 18650 3.7 volt 5000 milliamp ultra fire batteries. Now I'm pretty sure this laser can also use two 16340 batteries in place of the 18650. I have this laser in the blue version and it came with 16 340s and it uses two of them because they're like half the size of an 18 650 so I haven't confirmed that yet but if somebody wants to try that out I'm sure it would work. But anyways what we have right here wrapped in bubble wrap is obviously going to be the laser itself and it already has the star cap on the top of it so if you're wondering where that is it's already screwed into the top. It is useful to note that this did not come with any sort of instructions so you do have to kind of figure this out yourself, although I'll show you all the features in this video so you guys will know how to use the laser if you do decide to buy one. So taking this out of the bubble wrap, we have the laser itself and it feels really good. It feels just like the blue version I have. Full metal build, it has a really nice weight to it. It feels like a really good quality product and it does not feel cheap. It has that nice black button on the bottom which also seems good quality and I liked that a lot with my other laser. It has that silver star cap screwed onto the top there and I believe that is also metal. And I'm going to try to take this star cap off for you guys to show you what the laser normally looks like without that on there. And I'm going to do a close up for you guys because this can be kind of tricky. It spins right below the treaded area and when you're spinning that you feel like you're unscrewing it but it's actually not unscrewing at all. Spinning that area is just to make all the dots move when you're in the galaxy effect to make them all go in and out of each other. You have to kind of try to grab the star cap from the very base of it so that you're not just spinning the top of it, you're unscrewing the whole thing. So this might take me a minute, I might have to fast forward through this because this can be a little tricky. Okay, so I managed to get that little star cap off of there, and I like the star cap, it's good quality, it has some treads and a little o-ring on it, a really nice grip on it, and it is metal. Next up, I'm going to show you guys the focusable feature, because this laser is capable of focusing. So, obviously, if they advertise it as a burning laser, it does need to focus. So this top piece on the laser actually turns, and what turning that does is it actually focuses the laser in and out, so you would use that if you wanted to burn something. And then on the other end of the laser, there's another piece that spins, and that's how you're going to get to the battery compartment. So right in here is where you would put one 18650 battery positive side up, or you could put in two 16340 batteries. I believe that would also work as well. So I haven't charged these batteries yet. I'm just going to put one in and see if this works. And... Yep, it turns on right away, so the batteries did come with a bit of charge on them. I am going to charge them some more. I'm going to fully charge them, and then I'm going to show you guys what it looks like in different lighting levels. But you basically just push that button on the bottom once to turn it on and once to turn that off. And I like it a lot that way. I don't really like the lasers where you have to hold down the button while you're using it. I really like the lasers where you can just push it once on, push it once off. So I do really like that a lot. So I'm going to go charge the batteries now, and then I'm going to show you guys what this looks like in different lighting levels. Alright, so I charged the battery to full capacity, and I'm now going to test this out in a dimly lit indoor setting. And first thing I can note is that that dot is very bright. The beam is somewhat visible, you guys can't see it on camera, it's not like the thickest or craziest looking beam. Green beams are normally small in diameter anyway, blue ones are pretty thick and the green ones are pretty thin. But it isn't the most visible, it's pretty much the same visibility I'd say as my laser 303. And one thing I also want to point out right now, I hope you guys can see it on camera, the beam is actually a little bit misaligned with the laser. It's a little bit crooked, so I'm not a big fan of that. I really hate when they don't line these up correctly. And this one isn't like crazy misaligned, but it definitely is noticeable when I'm looking down the line of the laser. So 
I'm not a fan of the misaligned beam, and I'm also not a fan of how dim it is. It's not as bright as I was expecting. It does seem the same brightness as my Laser 303. So moving to the outdoor test, the beam obviously isn't visible. I don't really have any lasers where the beam is visible during daytime, but that dot is very visible, and you can see it from several hundred feet away. And I'm going to move to a nighttime setting now, and at the nighttime setting, I'm getting the same performance I think I would see out of my $5 laser 303. I mean, you can see the beam. It's really cool for somebody who hasn't had a laser that's this strong yet, but I really don't think that this is going to be too much stronger than my laser 303 when I bring it to the LPM test, so I'm not too impressed with the beam strength. At nighttime, I can also see that laser misalignment a lot better. It's a lot more visible to me, so I'm not a big fan of that either. And I'm going to do the star cap test now to show you guys what that looks like. I do always like these star cap tests. You can't really get one of these wrong. These do look really cool and they would make a really cool party effect if you ever wanted to show them off to friends. I wouldn't keep your laser on for more than like 90 seconds to 120 seconds though. You don't want to burn out the diode. And even that can be pushing it for some of these cheap Chinese lasers. So I wouldn't like set this up for a party and leave it on the whole time because you definitely will destroy your laser. So that's what the star cap test looks like. And I'm going to move on to the LPM test now so we can actually figure out the true power of this laser. I'm using my laser BA LPM and firing this up it's climbing but it's not climbing as fast as I thought it would be at this rate I really don't think I'm gonna be getting the numbers that I wanted to see out of it we're starting to slow down now so it looks like we're gonna average out at probably about 90 milliwatts and that's pretty disappointing I know they advertise this as one watt and I said it wouldn't be one watt but I was hoping it would be at least like maybe 200 milliwatts for thirty seven dollars basically what we're getting here and if I didn't know any better I'd say I think we're getting the same exact laser diodes that are put into the laser 303s because so far this laser has been performing exactly like my laser 303 and my laser 303 had a average power of 90 milliwatts so I think they're using the same diodes and just putting them in fancier hosts and then selling it for $30 more I'm not a big fan of this one so far I am gonna move on to the burn test so we can see how well it burns but I'm going to predict we're going to get the same results that I got with my laser 303 burn test. So I probably should have mentioned this earlier in the video, but whenever you're using lasers, you should wear laser safety glasses. I'm wearing my Wicked Lasers laser shades right now, and what we're going to do, we're going to use the cheap black charger because lasers burn black objects a lot better than any other color. We're going to use this to practice, and we're just going to slowly turn that little focusing dial on the top of the laser while aiming it at this charger until you see a little bit of smoke coming off and it makes little tiny etch marks and carvings on the charger. And you don't need to worry about this destroying your charger. It's basically just making very, very small scratch marks on it, similar to if you had scratched it with your fingernails. It's not going to burn all the way through and destroy the charger. So I don't know how well you guys can see it, but I do have a little smoke coming off there and I'm making little etch marks now. And you could even get creative with this and you could etch in your name if you wanted to. I've done that before. But what this basically means is I have my laser now focused in correctly and it's now ready to burn. So moving on to the matches, I'm going to try to go from the same distance I was just going from with this black charger. That way I'm getting the same focus. And with the matches, they're both red top matches, but I colored one of them in with black sharpie on the top. In case I'm not able to burn the normal one, I should be able to burn the black one a little bit better. And I'm now going to start the burning test. And I'm not seeing too much. I'm not seeing anything immediately. I'm not seeing any smoke coming off. I might end up fast forwarding this if I'm not successful. Okay, so I went ahead and fast forwarded that because I had zero success lighting the normal match. I didn't even see any smoke coming off. I'm going to move on to the black tip match now and right away I am seeing tiny tiny bits of smoke but it's nothing major and it's not doing very much at all. The smoke isn't even really very consistent. I'm seeing a little bit here and there but I'm not seeing a ton of it. I'm going to continue trying here and we'll see if we're able to get this to light. Alright, so I've been trying this out for 2-3 to three minutes now and I've had no luck getting this match to light. Neither one would light. I did get a little bit of smoke off the black tipped one, but besides that I had no success. So that was pretty disappointing. This laser overall was not very pleasing. I do like the host a lot and I always have like these silver minigun style hosts, but the laser diode inside this host is pretty much the same exact one as the 303. I'd probably guess if I was able to open this up I'd probably find the same exact diode. It's not very strong at all. It has the same visibility as a $5 laser. It has the same strength, 90 milliwatts, as a $5 laser. 
The laser beam on this one was also misaligned, which is really annoying to me. I really don't like when they're misaligned, and I think that they should put more effort into making it a perfect straight laser beam that lines up with the laser pointer itself. It also didn't come with even a little instruction paper at all. And I know that will vary from seller to seller, but the seller I bought it from, the one I'm going to link down below, did not include any instructions at all, so I'm not a big fan of that. I'm also just noticing now that this doesn't have a safety label on it. That's not a huge issue with me though because this one doesn't really have any flat place to put that little safety sticker. So I'm not a big fan of this laser at all. There were some issues with it. It was very weak. It's basically the cheap $5 laser 303 diode inside a fancy host. And if you're willing to spend $37 on this, I would just spend the extra 20 or so and get the blue version of this. That one I reviewed and I'll put the link to that review down below as well. That one ended up being over 1 watt. So... That one was really nice, and that one's only like 50 to $60, so if you're willing to spend $37, I would spend a little bit of extra and get the stronger laser. But if for whatever reason you guys really do want to get this laser, I'll put the link down below to the seller I got it from, and I'll probably link a couple others too in case that one goes out of stock. If you guys found this review helpful in any way at all, hit that like button down below, and if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button for more amazing laser videos just like this one. And as always guys, thank you for watching from XM360.